We're back, everybody. Let's start crossing some more chronos. So we did that. There's nothing left for me in this section, right? I believe. Let's test out our new element. That's what I would say if this particular enemy wasn't a fire element. Ah, yes, I can use the pad. I can use the warp pad now. We have visions of us murdering kid. Fun times. Come on. Fun times. Viper and Lynx. Finally, we've been expecting you. <laughs> I don't know. I have nothing personal against you, but anyone who hinders our plan must be eliminated. I am rather sorry about that. Care for some warming up first, eh? Then come now, lads. I will take you on. He just kicked me in the face and just clubbed me with the sword. How did Lena and Guile get switched positions? G Force. Damn! Strapped myself in and felt the G's. Here and max it out with Aqua Beam. Recharge elements power. What does that even mean? Whatever, frog time. 
Big damage roll. Vipers, no slouch. He's not slouching. Won't catch him slacking. Dragoon Gauntlet. <laughs> you are a worthy opponent. But let us see how you do now. I shall give it my all. Lynx! You traitor! You were extremely useful in helping me make my way around these islands. I appreciate your help, General. However, I no longer have any need for you. This fort shall serve as a fine grave marker for you and your dragoons. May you rest in peace. Damn. Forgive me. Riddle. Now, let this be your final resting place as well. He's got a scythe! You idiot, we've all got scythes! No, we don't. She's got a fucking broom. Damn. Oh no, she'll be fine. She good, she good, she fine, she fine. She alright, she alright. Powered up water, aqua beam. That was weak as hell. But at least it reduced the damage of his magma burst. By not enough! Holy crap. Viper ain't playing with me. Or Lynx ain't playing with me. Summon out there. Good damage. Good damage.
Arena. Help the boys get their stamina back. Actually, before I do that, bring him over for big element damage. Suck, Lynx. Can't beat me. I'm too good. Greater Pendragon Sigil. You're more trouble than I thought. But you really think your skills are superior to mine? Hold your seahorses! Kid! You ain't getting away with what you did, Lynx. <laughs> Surge, have you ever questioned who you really are? Surge? What has been the significance of your existence up until now? On that ominous day ten years ago, the boundary of space and time was torn, and part of me, in fact, died. You cannot defeat me, Surge. Erasing my existence would be the same as wiping out your own. Don't be taken in by his rubbish, Surge. This guy's full of it. Huh. We'll see about that. There are two sides to every coin. Life and death, love and hate, they are all the same. What did you say? Talk some sense, will ya? I agree. I would, I would love to hear some sense. That ain't good. Surge, what's wrong? Lynx, what have you done to Surge? Surge, you alright? Yes, I'm fine. I'm just fine, kid. Wait. What are you doing, Lynx? Now's your chance, kid. Kill him! Yeah, I know. So, Lynx took over my body, and Surge is in Lynx's body. This is the end of you, Lynx. Say your prayers!
I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I think I have to lose this one, but I don't want to risk it. That's my move. Dash and slash is my tech. You did it, kid. Yeah. Now finish him. What's wrong? Settle it once and for all. Here, hand me your dagger. I'll finish him off. Watch this, kid. I'll avenge Luca for you. Die, Lynx! Wait! What, kid? He's your foe, isn't he? How do you know Luca's name? What are you talking about, kid? Not once did I ever mention Luca's name to you, Serge. No, don't tell me you're... Here comes the sad. Shanked, kid. Surge, why? Quiet. You too. N no! This is the end of the road for you, kid. Uh, you're Lynx, ain't ya? <laughs> I'll send you to see Luca. I'll finish you off later. Look at yourself, Surge. I mean, Lynx. <laughs> Excellent. The enmity is growing. The only thing pure in this world is enmity. Well then, the time has come for the curtain to fall. Your services are no longer needed. Your existence is worthless. Farewell, Surge. Finally, I have the key. The key to the gate of fate. The time has finally come for the frozen flame to awaken. Come to the Sea of Eden, Surge. Should you wish to end your dream of ten years ago. Oh. Motion sickness warning. Now. Let love bleed, darker and deeper than the seas of hell. <laughs> Avert your eyes. Man, now that's what I call an L for the ages. Ah, this, this ground hurts my eyes. Holy shit. Am I a marble? Or am I? Wow. 
what am I? It's locked from the inside. What they're saying is, does that open from the side? that rock around. I don't know. It's locked. That water's flowing up. Ah, yes, of course. Okay. I just had to get the right angle on it. Uh, kind of? It looks okay, but it also looks sharpie and jagged and hurts my eyes so yeah I found revive or even am I who knows I don't Like, it is a similar style to the paintings I like, but at the same time, it just looks a lot less smooth than those paintings. Like, looking at it like this, it almost looks like shards of glass more than brush strokes. My house now. Hey, you! What are you doing in me house? Me house? Hmm. I figured you were for another one. I figured you for one another. Hmm. I figured you for another wandering spirit. How many years has it been since a physical being wandered into this world? Very strange indeed. Rightly so. The world is controlled by chance and chaos. Anything can happen as quick as a wink. Nobody knows. Something you have today may be gone tomorrow. Just like this berry I'm open. Important stuff, irreplaceable stuff. All these may come to arm with superlative ease. And what's frightening is there will be absolutely no meaning to what happens in our daily lives. Meaning, meaning is non-existent. No matter what's born, lost, or changed, it's beyond calculation. There'd be no one or nothing watching over you. Such is life. I'm going to bed. I suggest you rest up, too. Kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> yes. Just a second there. I gave you a place to sleep and you're leaving without a word of thanks? I my sign. I'm coming with you. I have a feeling I can get out of here if I tag along. Besides, you won't be able to make it inside that tower alone. I'll open it for you. Big time of hay! Hmm, sprig with two G's, huh? How about sprig with all the G's. Sprig. <laughs> I 
You are too late, no? Come on, Ms. Yolings, let's go. We don't have the time to be dawdling here. We may truly get lost in time. I cannot afford to lose you just yet. I'm not Lynx. You are no longer Surge. You are Monsieur Lynx. Alons, regard toi. Just look at yourself. Who in their right mind is going to believe you are Surge? Say simple. It, if everybody except for yourself says that you are Monsieur Lynx, then... I guess you are Monsieur Lynx. Voila, you are Monsieur Lynx. It's as simple as that. That is who you are. Say la reality. If you try and go against reality, reality will surely crush you. Reality will kill you. And reality will continue to go on as if nothing ever happened. From yesterday to today and from today to tomorrow, reality marches on. Leaving your crushed body behind. But I'm Surge. Ooh la la. So you still insist that you are Surge, we? Oui? Regarding as your memoir as this surge, you may be able to rewrite it as you if you use the dragon tear. In reality, you died ten years ago and in, in the other world. How can you say for sure this is the real you? Maybe for you it is evident, but I wonder if you ever really were surge. Furthermore, what was this surge? A figure? A shape? A spirit? A soul? Where was this surge? Who am I? Who are you? You're not me. I'm not you. I am reality. You are... Now open the door to reality only. One mistake and you'll never make it back to the real world. I want to open all the different doors. I think I just have to follow the doors he's going into. Whoa. Fine. How boring. Fine, I understand how you feel. Let's head back to reality. Arl joined your party. I wonder if I was a, if I could fail to recruit her. Let's, I can't remember. Let's find out. So confusing. Ah, my eyes. Spread. <laughs> Total chaos. Oh, he's got a cool pack.
I'll just do that for now. Do I have to re-equip stuff to him as well? Total chaos. Alright, can I go down this way? Yes I can. Can I go through here? No, that's just where chaos comes from, I guess. And we're back at the Hydra Marshes. We are back to reality. Does this place look familiar to you, Ms. Olinx? Do you need more to tell you where you are? I already know. Ah, you remember. Then let's leave this forest at once. Ah, yes, I'm finally back in the real world. Ah, a world of substance. Even the water and the air is different. This is great! <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, it wouldn't hurt my eyes if they didn't make it so bright. Like, if the colors... We're a little mute, a little more dull, just a little, then it wouldn't be popping out like knives. I guess it kind of looks similar to like fresh, fresh snow on a sunny day. Or just stings your eyes. It's time to party! Let's have a toast to our return into the real world. Oh, that's a woman. Listen, old lady, you are not getting any younger. Try to control your emotions. And there is absolutely no time to be partying. We must hurry along. What's your problem, Lance? It's been years since I've been back to the real world. You sure are a buzzkill, so anyway, where to now? Oh, Monsieur Lynx, you seem worried about this surge that Surge character. Do you still remember? Is the place where it all started? Where angels lose their way? Where angels... Whatever. It has a bad ring to it. So what exactly is it? A gate to another world. Something like that. What? Are you saying there's another dimensional distortion in this world? <laughs> I'm very interested indeed. So where is this place? Leave that up to miss your links. Let's just get going, but first we must leave this forest. What the? It disappeared. What's going on?
All right. Well, we're going to do that next time. Until then, everybody.